having a chill day on the yard. We're gonna have a real quick tour though. There's a guy that lives right behind Malko's place, or he has a property there, and his name's Wani. He's from Scotland, he's a reggae artist. I've met him a few times over the years, and I think he even has a little studio in Morant Bay. So we're gonna take a quick tour of his place. He's gonna explain how he got here, what it's like getting property in Jamaica, because I'm kind of curious to do it as well, whether it's here or maybe someplace along uh, the ocean in St. Thomas. Anyhow, let's go chat with Wani. Hey Wani, I mean Wasi. Wasi, let's go see Wani. Is he named after you? <laughs> All right, come on. Hey, why you got a bite, Wasi? Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Making a mud fire. You're a proper yard man too. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm Gongu and how are you? I didn't see you for a while, Rat Rat. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna get a tour of the yard with oh, yeah, man. with Wani, yes, but he's sir. busy doing yard work as every yard man <laughs> has to do. Has to be done, you see. Yes. It's quite windy today, so there's a lot of leaves. And this will probably fall down equally in the next day as well. And yeah. it all over again. <laughs> yeah. It's a constant, a constant uh, task. Okay. But yeah, man. Our uh, welcome to our our place. Yeah. So Moko's yard right there. Yeah. And yeah, maybe you can tell me how you ended up here in the first place. Um, yeah, well, when me and my bridge, this is my this is my house here, and my bridge and Ross, who has that place, he owns this with me. And when we were like 16, 17, and we were just out of high school, we were very interested in Rastafari. Mm. But where we come from, there's no Rastas. There's not even there's not many African people anyway. And I I didn't meet a Jamaican person until I came to Jamaica. So we thought, we were looking at various places where we could like volunteer at sort of a Rasta camp or something and work and learn about farming and just living natural in Ital, you know? And um, we ended up finding Mako's place yeah. and stayed with him for three months in 2012 for the first time. Nice. And we How just- How did you find him originally? It was a website called Worlds Together Worlds Together, Travel. that's how I found him too. Yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> we, we were emailing Diane about it and then but promptly after that, I think maybe she told us about it or Mako told us about it. You'd started filming by that point, so there yeah. were some videos. So we got to see what the place was like before we got to come, and awesome. we were we were so excited. So we just stayed for three months, and we just we were in those two cabins there, the the big one and the small yeah. one, and uh, we just like played guitar, swam in the river, learned about farming, and read Bible verse like every day, just really like deep on our Rasta business, you know, <laughs> yes. and. Um, we were we were just from the moment we came here we were just taken in by the place like we love the culture the food the music the people like it's such a it is like bob marley say it's like a natural mystic place and there's mm. there's uh lots of like spirits and good vibes here and bad vibes too but it's all a balance and um yeah so like we we and we just like became obsessed with the place it's been our lives yeah you Yes. This, this man, you would have been here before he was born. I was here when we found out Chanel was pregnant with this, oh, with this man, yeah. Wow. I know you a long time, Ratty. Right yeah, right, right. I know you since you're a baby. Yeah. And now you're a big man. Yeah, big man now. With big old crisps. Give me some! <laughs> Seem bigger than us. Yeah. Yeah, Wait. can you give me a tour of your, the yeah, yard absolutely, here? Because it's man. like, absolutely. it's pretty awesome because the river is right there. I mean, just like yeah, Mocha's yeah. place, so, obviously. I'll stare, but I think I'll kind of move it off. So this is my house. Again, like our thing is much more primitive than Mako's right now. Whoops. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but we're obviously we're here sparingly at the moment because it's a hard process of getting visas and all this stuff. To, so we can stay for up to six months at yeah. a time. Is that the idea to originally to eventually? We we would stay like to we would like to be here. Yeah, it's yeah. been like since we first came here. That's been the dream and. Uh, yeah, we've been blessed with this place, so we're just gonna keep building up. We did. I did have a kitchen here that Marco helped me build. It was like latticed bamboo. It was really nice. Oh, pine. Oh, we got sugar I planted, pine. I planted those uh, two years ago. Nice. Well, They're we'll just get... barren now. It's <laughs> wicked. But yeah, so like the bathroom blew down, and uh, the bathroom blew down over there. Kitchen's falling down, and Ross's mm. as well. So 
we're in a kind of reconstruction mode at the moment, you know. Um, we'll soon have the place fenced up in the bathroom on the go. Nice. So that's where my kitchen was. I still cook on the drum. Okay. Um, I planted all these pine a few years ago. Sugar pine, yeah. Did you get them from Bongo up the road? Um, no, away. actually, a brethren brought me them from Upso. Still in Sunny Hill, though. Nice. But yeah. I, know, I know the man you're talking about. He, he is, is the nicest for sugar pine, pine man. Yeah. Sweetest pine man. So rest in peace, Bongo. Yeah, he was the man. coolest. He was a legend. And, um, yeah. Yeah, we have this. This is going to be like for the roof of our of our bathroom. You can see the foundation of it there. Yeah. But it fell down and broke the bowl and everything. So we're just gonna. Oh, man. We'll hopefully get that done over the next week, actually. Yeah. And uh, yeah, us Marco Marco Ras and I um, planted up like all, most of the planting and banana on this yard. No, all of it, I think. Yeah. And then Cocoa like like year, years here. ago. A lot of the coconut trees were here, all these ones, but uh, the younger ones, like this, there's two here, this one and this one, mm -hmm. and then Ross planted some more, but those two I planted, and one over there I did a couple of years ago, and Ross has been busy this trip, he's done quite a lot of stuff, nice. so it's good, we've got a lime tree here, oh, yeah. there's a grapefruit tree up there. It's just foot you can't hunger in Sun and Hill, man. No, it's, it's proper though. It's like you got your own slow farm on the yard. It's so It's blessed, wicked. man. I just we we just want to give it more care and like, you know, Marco really knows how to do the thing proper and we've been blessed with his guidance for a lot of uh, a lot of how to work the land and yeah. so we're obviously not natives of this climate yeah. at all, you know. <laughs> well What's this one, Rat Rat? Plum. Plum plum, little plum. baby plum. That's pretty amazing. Have, he yeah. can recognize that without he, it even bearing any fruit. He's a little bushman already. He knows everything, man. Yeah, it's true. This man teaches me enough things as well. <laughs> pine. Yeah. It's a little baby sugar pine. Yeah, Ras planted all these. This is a what? Like this is more Ras's space straight in front of his cabin. So what? he's done a lot what? over here, you know. I have a funny story oh, about Ras Fire. I think Ras Fire is his name. Yeah, right? yeah. So Moko told me there was a Scottish guy staying. And he's a real, real Rasta. Yeah. And he only eats Ital and he smokes so much weed that Moko was concerned. <laughs> so when you have a fucking <laughs> Rasta man like Moko concerned about your weed smoking, I thought, yeah, oh man. my god, this guy must be good. Yeah, that sounds like Rast man. <laughs> we we burn a lot of herbs, you know. I think there's even there's some herbs springing up over here oh, actually. Yeah. yeah, we we burn a lot of ganja man. Mm. Oh, home and abroad. Oh here we oh, go. Yeah, yeah a little ganja here. Wait. Hey, we have melon over here, melon, man. Melon, nice. Melon, uh, melon over there. Yeah. One right there, one over there. Young bananas here. Yeah, it's all coming up. They're good. They just kind of the banana trees just kind of walk around the place. You know, they keep springing up more, and they just kind of travel around the yard on their own. Like, oh, that's wicked. But we will occasionally like one fell down over there, and a sucker's come up. So I don't know if I'll replant that or if it'll just grow where it's where it's sitting. Yeah. We've got the three there's two aki trees on each side of my house and then aki. this one here is a young aki young aki tree aki's got to be like for me and ras well, i can't speak for him but for me it's like my favorite food in the whole world aki, yeah. aki rice and peas man because you keep proper I ra itel, right he too he loves aki i know moko told me you guys keep proper itel too yeah right? we d so. we do the the vegan itel business yeah. but um People got to eat, you know, whatever they eat, you know, like some people got to fish and do whatever, yeah, that's cool, you know. Time, no, say, give me some more, man, when it's full time, give me some more. <laughs> What's your favorite Aki dish? Because we were trying to figure out what Aki one we could cook that we haven't done yet uh, for Ross Kitchen. Because we've what? done Ital Aki and we've done Aki salt okay. fish. What else do you I, do? I, pu I put it in so soup well. a lot. Yeah? Um, but you only just, you know, like sometimes you boil the Aki. Well, a lot of the time people boil it and then fry it. Yeah. But like I, I quite like it when it's just boiled and it's not too oily or anything. Mm. And then you can just like, um, you do that in the soup. You just kind of chuck it in near the end, and it'll stay. It'll keep its um, texture and stuff. So it doesn't get too soft. It doesn't get too it soft, but quick, it's right? it's nice in soup. Like, but I, I just kind of I do that all the time. I just boil pumpkin down and coconut juice and yeah. throw in all sorts of stuff, man. Hard nice. food. What is something way off? Give me. It's something way off. Give me. Something that I brought for you? <laughs> yes. How did you know I brought you anything? Yes. How do you know? The night they tell me. I told you yesterday. <laughs> I'll give it to you later. Surprise. As long yeah. as you're a good man. You're always well behaved, a little angel, right? Ah. So you can do the handstand right? Eh? Yeah. What? When did you learn that? 
Okay, okay. <laughs> Later. He's busy with Cheetos and such. Yeah, he's preoccupied. What was it like, fig like, doing the property arranging or how it worked? Because I know I was talking with Malko, or you get like a co-signer who's Jamaican. Yeah, or... there's a. It was like a. It was a long process for us. Yeah. The, we know the, like the woman who did all this for us, um, is the same person who Malko gets his piece from, ah. and. I'm, I think everyone in this area like yeah. she still comes and uses this part of the land all this bush here yeah and takes like they have chocolate in there and oranges yeah, I was gonna say there's enough chocolate right on the tree there, fruit, yeah man. Of it. does she live in town too or I believe she lives in area castle ah. she's a nice lady she comes by um, I haven't seen her this trip but uh, we see her quite a bit and get on quite well so cool. yeah I'd love to get yeah. her contact because I'm just curious about it I've been talking to my friend Peter down at in Roselle's about I mean, I didn't even. Yeah. I have no idea even of the budget or how it would work, but you know, getting a piece just for the future because I'm totally here man. Me, so. Well, there's a. Uh, yeah, man, it's it's worth looking into. Or even moving next door to you guys. <laughs> totally, I was man. Joking about yeah, moving man. to Papa's old place because Moko's friend's Papa. That that I don't know if yeah. him. Well, he he got his place. It was all around about the same time. All like all of us were acquiring. Uh, I'm gonna this done. Hmm. I'm gonna this done. Okay. May I do it? No. All right, sir. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's definitely worth looking into, man. The the thing we the the main thing we were like that's I've it's taken me years to sort of get over is like it's gonna be a long slow everything moves slow in Jamaica yes. and it's like it's a slow slow process. But we were really in the right place at the right time regarding this this little spot yeah. and uh, I think just to, like we were quite young and. Like I was literally just sitting outside with Marco holding a reason. I was just saying to him like how grateful me and Ras are for like all like getting set up with this place because it's uh, totally changed our lives and it's a huge mm -hmm. part of my life now. Like we come here all the time and like it's oh yeah, this man's doing the handstand. Sorry. Oh, little break. Okay, go for it, Raddy. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. How about without the wall? <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good man good on you <laughs> yeah i think but i mean yeah. still st thomas parish here there's barely any tourism it, it's like a yep. whole different world it's like the forgotten parish a whole different it's world than the rest of jamaica so yeah you, you, you kind of have to i don't know yeah i don't know you just have to blend in man as best you can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is hard yeah but some bamboo trees but for i guess for property prices and stuff compared to other places on the Absolutely. island it's going to be a massive difference a huge difference yeah, yeah. man as it's just That's having cool. all the resources and stuff to um to build up the place and yeah that's it but it's it's definitely worth looking into man i'd recommend it because like I, like you know jamaica's jamaica's slogan or, or their their national motto is out of many one people you know mm -hmm. and like that's what that's what i love about this place is it's a it's a melting pot of different cultures and like people gotta keep coming and jamaicans gotta keep going out to the world you know and like spreading the vibes yeah totally that's human beings well someday because i mean i obviously try to come back and i love always staying here but yeah it'd be nice to have your own little place yeah and it's sort of like my my second family, right? So yeah, you can't yeah. you can't live with your dad forever, <laughs> your mom and dad. So totally, man. You, you gotta know, fly the coop. Yeah, you get a place yeah, next door, kind of thing. So yeah, man. Yeah. Straight up. Eventually. Yeah, if you if you ever meet the woman, you should totally chat with her and see and see what she says, man. Yeah. But I, I know of, I know of a, a couple people living out here from the UK, and a few people from the states in Kingston. But it's more Kingston and stuff. People move to yeah, even Japanese places. people. I met a bunch of Japanese surfer guys, and they're like, right. "Oh, we've lived here like four or five years." I thought, "That's crazy." Well, that's man. wild. And they, wow. yeah, I mean, their English was pretty limited too, but they were right in it. They were full on like living Kingston style. And, yep, yep. And they're so into the music and the culture as well. It's like, wow. yeah, they love it in Japan, man. Like yeah. lots of big sound system there. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a cool thing. And what about your studio and stuff? Because I I saw so, you in town yesterday. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um, it's my brethren's place. Unity vibes, like mm. pick up Unity vibes more Unity on bass vibes? straight, yeah. yeah. But yeah, <laughs> like uh, I I'm just blessed. They let me come down there and and use the space sometimes and just you know link up. Like I spent a lot of time there in 2016 and um, and 2017. Mm. 
so it's good to just see them again and I was just writing some tunes yesterday didn't get too much recorded but linked up with Ras Fire we're going to be shooting a music video over the next wee while for a couple of tunes I've got and um, yeah man it'll be cool but they, they've got a nice wee space down there I've just got like my interface and microphones and laptop with me so I can mm. just kind of set up a, a I don't know, an on the go studio anywhere I am. Some re- so legit okay. frog sounds in the background. In the That's evening. a man sampling <laughs> the jungle, like straight up, man. Or Wasi barking at the other dogs. <laughs> totally. Sounds, yeah. Night time's the, one, the best time to work, really. Yeah. But um, hopefully, we'll get the place. Like, we have great visions for this place. What someday we just need to keep working at it. But, wow, um, it looks great already, man. And like, give it, thanks, like man. the hard stuff, like the getting a concrete foundation poured in a bathroom i saw you did have the plumbing down there yeah yeah we've got a pit dug there so like yeah. it's a it's a flush toilet when it's uh when it's on the go which is so but, nice because i was thinking this last night i'm like wait a minute where does mocha's flush toilet? i hope it doesn't go in that nice beautiful <laughs> river oh no no <laughs> yeah it's like it's basically like a compost business yeah. really like um it's pretty cool nice. so but yeah like we're hope we'll hopefully have that done over the next week and maybe like by the time I leave, there's maybe some of the fence getting put up, which would be really nice. Yeah. Um, the fence has never been fully finished, so hopefully yeah. we'd see that done. But it's just yeah, you go you go away for a while, and there's all kinds of insects that eat the wood, and like yeah. there's hurricanes, and there's all sorts. So it's just contending with the the weather and the jungle, and keeping keeping everything maintained. And if we're not here, it's like oh, things grow impossible. so quickly. <laughs> like that brand new fence. You come back in a week, there's going to be stuff. Yeah, growing man, on vines it. Yeah, all over yeah, it. And yeah, absolutely. That's it, Rex. The last one. Um, yeah. And I'll, I'll link your stuff below. So, what's oh, the yeah, best totally. contact for you? Um, yeah, is real music is my music thing. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, that's pr- that's pretty much my thing. And my brethren has an Instagram called the High Climber. Okay. Um, we d- we do a lot of hiking back home and going up mountains. Yeah, because I just cause we've been friends life. on Facebook or whatever for yeah, a while. Yeah, so I man. see like all these gnarly hikes in Scotland and stuff. Totally, man. And you could yeah. link my my Instagram there, Jeff Lion Nimbus as well. I put stuff up on that too. All right. So yeah, man. Um, Thank thanks for coming over and cool. checking out the place. Thanks for the tour because I was curious. No worries. I think I missed you the last few years. But, uh, totally, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You've been back a few times since we last crossed yeah. paths. But yeah, it was good to see you again, man. Cool. So, thanks for coming <laughs> yeah, over. It's wicked. But Bless up, man. Cool. All right, Ratsy, show me what you're going to show me. Yeah. See you later, man. Bless up. Man. Bless. <laughs> Skills. Non-stop skills. I can barely see you. Barely. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright. Yeah. I'll see you later, Ratsy. Have fun in the tree. No. <laughs> yeah, take your time, brother.